get your reaction off of this too. Ramel and his peoples are doing, they got a YouTube page and he just put me up on it. It's called Behind the Scenes. And you, if you don't know, there's a lot of shit going on in Haiti. We, it's been going on. Shit is going down in Haiti. So I'm actually, mm -hmm, I'm gonna do a little documentary on it, like to keep people up to date. But he did an intro on it, and I want you to listen to it. You know. Shaka Fett, it's your boy Cash Rock, behind the scenes TV. Y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna take y'all into Haiti. I'm gonna take y'all into the gang life. I'm gonna take y'all into the politics. I'm gonna take y'all into the lifestyle that the people live out there. My people, Haitians. It's here, behind the scenes TV. Stay tuned. Protesters have blocked the roads of Port-au-Prince to express their anger. They came out onto the streets of the Haitian capital on Wednesday. Many are enraged by the steep price rises and severe fuel shortages. Each time they want to raise fuel prices, they claim there's a shortage. It's not true. There's some available. It's not necessary to make people suffer. Our situation is very critical because we're dealing with hardship, hunger, and our children can no longer go to school government is useless Ooh. we are calling for them to go they must go long queues still stretch out in front of petrol stations but most remain closed the shortages have increased in the past week due to clashes between two rival gangs which are fighting for control of cité soleil a vast slum on the west of the capital port-au-prince the area is home to an oil terminal which supplies the capital and the north of haiti Operations have now been suspended due to the extreme violence in Cité Soleil. A local human rights group says at least 89 people have been killed in a week. Neither the police nor ambulances have been able to intervene, leaving thousands of families struggling, lacking food and water. Haiti is becoming further entrenched in violence, with at least 155 kidnappings taking place in right. June. We got three minutes on this call, so I want you to... Uh... I'll let you listen to the rest of it, but you hear? Saka Fett, it's your boy Cash Rock, behind the scenes TV. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to take y'all into Haiti. We're going to take y'all into the gang life. We're going to take y'all into the politics. We're going to take y'all into the lifestyle that the people live out there. My people, Haitians, ACN, behind the scenes TV. Stay tuned. Protesters have blocked the roads of Port-au-Prince to express their anger. They came out onto the streets of the Haitian capital on Wednesday. Many are enraged by the steep price rises and severe fuel shortages. Each time they want to raise fuel prices, they claim there's a shortage. It's not true. There's some available. It's not necessary to make people suffer. Our situation is very critical because we're dealing with hardship, hunger, and our children can no longer go to school. The government is useless. We are calling for them to go. They must go. Long queues still stretch out in front of petrol stations, but most remain closed. The shortages have increased in the past week due to clashes between two rival gangs which are fighting for control of Cité Soleil, a vast slum on the west of the capital, Port-au-Prince. The area is home to an oil terminal which supplies the capital and the north of Haiti. Operations have now been suspended due to the extreme violence in Cité Soleil. A local human rights group says at least 89 people have been killed in a week. Neither the police nor ambulances have been able to intervene, leaving thousands of families struggling, lacking food and water. Haiti is becoming further entrenched in violence, with at least 155 kidnappings taking place in June. The war on gangs is also threatening humanitarian aid deliveries, According to the World Food Programme, more than 11 million Haitians face food insecurity. Haiti were unusually quiet on Tuesday. Days of fuel shortages have left people with few transportation options, forced the closure of some businesses and threatened the daily running of hospitals. Gang members have blocked the entrance to ports that hold vital fuel stores as their leader demands Prime Minister Ariel Henry step down. The people of Haiti are already struggling under a weakening economy and a wave of gang kidnappings. This local resident says the situation is dire. There is no petrol in the country. Hospitals are unable to operate. I think other institutions could close their doors, but hospitals cannot run out of diesel. 
We are at the most serious level. This is the limit. Because today public hospitals are not operating, private hospitals are not operating. Maternity wards with newborns, wards with COVID patients. In a radio interview on Monday, the country's main gang boss, Jimmy Charizia, said he would ensure the safe passage of fuel if Andre steps down. His statement shows how gangs have taken on an increasingly political role following the July assassination of President Jovenel Moyes. The gang leader also demanded that Andre answer questions linking him to Moyes' murder. The Prime Minister has denied any involvement. Elections originally scheduled for November have been suspended after Andre last month dismissed the council that organises the vote. Gangs called G9 and G Pip is at the heart of the conflict. Pitch gun battles for the control of Saïd Solel, just outside of Port-au-Prince, has resulted in essential supplies getting blocked. Thousands of people are trapped without access to food and water. Compounding matters, two ships with fuel haven't been able to unload their cargo due to security reasons. This has resulted in chronic shortages at petrol stations. Price of fuel has gone through the roof, making people's anger boil over. Every time they want to raise fuel prices, they allege their scarcity. That's not true. There is stock. There is no need to cause pain to people. They will not be able to do so. If they are determined to raise oil prices, we will set the country on fire and they will all disappear. Horrified at the scale of violence unfolding on the streets of Port-au-Prince, the United Nations Security Council has unanimously passed a resolution to stop the sale of small arms to Haiti. An estimated 930 people have been killed since the beginning of this year. The Haitian government that has taken over the reins after the assassination of Jovenel Moïse hasn't been able to assert its control. Forty people, including former Colombian soldiers, have been arrested for storming into President Jovenel Moïse's private residence in a pre-dawn raid for his assassination, but none of them has been charged. What makes matters worse is that the sitting Prime Minister, Ariel Henry, faces accusations of being involved in the plot to assassinate Jovenel Moïse. Four judges have so far recused themselves from hearing the case, citing intimidation and threats to personal safety. The case has now been transferred to a fifth judge. Haiti is the poorest nation of the Western Hemisphere. Of its 4.4 million population, almost a million are chronically food insecure. Like all Caribbean nations, Haiti is heavily dependent on imports to meet its grain requirements. But with inflation at over 52%, the Russia-Ukraine conflict having pushed up the global food prices and chronic lawlessness on the streets, the Haitian people are bracing themselves for some tough Rock. days. Behind the scenes TV, so we've least police delay television. Ça qu'a fait l'argent. You got about two more minutes if you want to start to give me some insight of how you feel about Haiti right now. Shit, is real. Or you? I or feel. We. I really feel like distraught over it because at the end of the day, like I, I really want to know what's the real root of the problem of the outside world. Outside of Haiti, <laughs> like what's their problem with Haiti? To the point where you say I give aid, you say I help, but then at the same time, uh, you help put elected officials in the office that's not going to help. <laughs> that you know stealing money, that you know doing this, that's not helping the people. But then spend billions of dollars to go send money to a bunch of people that look like you to go fight. Billions of dollars to go fight a country next to them that they've been for what? For what? It, 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 it doesn't. It, it doesn't. It doesn't sit right with me because at the end of the day, people need to sit down and actually look and pay attention to what's going on in the world. And Haiti is so close that it's in your face that they don't put it on mainstream. You might see it once in the blue moon going across the bottom of your screen. You have 60 seconds remaining. Like, and it's a 
they don't want to show us because they know we strong. They got to destroy us first before they put us on TV and they get into the destroy Haiti. This, you could call back. All right, I need you to call back because uh, this is a pattern. You there? Yeah, yeah, basically, when you look at this same thing that's going on, this happened in Afghanistan, this happened in Iraq, this happened in all of the Syria, the other countries that America has put their hands on. So this is the math. What they do is, how they destabilize the country is, they be like, okay, y'all need to have fair elections or whatever they feel like the default is. And they will send people from America to either oversee the elections or put them in particular places in times of when they have disasters. This is when they come in. It's not just Haiti when they came in on times of disasters. So the way they could enter Haiti, because we don't play that bullshit, excuse my language, they came in in times of disaster. So every time we had a disaster, like the earthquake, like uh, the two earthquakes, they are sending people in via allegedly to manage the resources. So when they sent uh, Clinton peoples in and all this stuff during the earthquake, you already know. You know, we went out there after uh, hey, after that. And it was still in shambles. People still living in tents. And the only thing that happened when, when Clinton Foundation left Haiti was a whole bunch of internet lines was put up in a, in a place that didn't have the earthquake. And it, all that money was shunted back to America business, as you mentioned. As you mentioned, one of one of our phone calls, when they put these programs together, it gets shunted to these rich white elites, people in the government, businesses, because they give them contracts. But it's never to the people in Haiti. They're not giving it to the people in Haiti to say, hey, you make this manufactured company. No, we're going to bring one in. So this is how they got into Haiti. So then they, they got Aristotle. You saw what happened to Aristotle. They wanted this nigga out. We, it been many presidents that they put into Haiti or, or compromisedly, allegedly, allegedly put into Haiti. And they were either murdered by us, I'm gonna keep it real, or murdered, or got, we don't play that shit. So they have to come in smartly. So now what they're doing is the same thing that they did with all the other countries when they be on now, they're saying, Right in mainstream news, they talking about us now. Oh, America, America have gang. I mean, Haiti got gangs that's fighting for the land. Da da da. The people are being terrorized, terrorized by the gangs. But this is how the gangs was created. They were created because they were in a tyranny government, and these people started banding together. Like fuck this, we got to get our money. We got to do what we need to do. We need to. So this is how the gangs banding together. But what they did is probably the same thing they did to the Bloods and Crips. They went and infiltrated those gangs. They started problems with them gangs. So as you heard in the video, they're saying that it's two rival gangs trying to take one area. They may have been your brother, your they cousins, and like they did some co-tell and pro. I'm just keeping real. This is what happened with our movements. So now you got two gangs in, in Haiti right now fighting, allegedly for territory, and still fighting against the tyranny of the government. But it's looking like now they're presenting it to America. Now they can present it they like yeah they got gangs the people are terrorized they're blocking the oil and now it's going to be an outcry for america to send troops they're going to try to push that narrative once they hit the land of haiti my opinion they're going to have a different outcome from afghanistan iraq because we different we different in haiti we straight beasts like you got to understand the religion in haiti was voodoo so it's not a lot of humbleness in Vudan. We like, you do to us, we do to you. That's why, you know, I talk about us leaving voodoo alone because that is a curse at the end of the day. But they don't understand what the fuck they about to do. So I, in my opinion, if American troops come into a, in there, I think they're going to think about it. So you, you, you see how I broke down the math? Does it make sense? This is how they do all the time. And this is how they destabilize these countries to infiltrate it and take their resources. One thing, right. let's close off and then I'm gonna let you just bang out. I was talking to mommy about this. I said, don't you remember? Haiti got all this gold, all these jewelry, all this thing buried. This is how we got gold and shit. We been exploring it when we was free. Haitian generals came to America to help with World War I and World War II. It's statues of Haitian generals in Florida because we led camps to help get 
people freedom here. That's why they respect Haiti and they don't fucking like Haiti at the same time. Go, we going I'm gonna I'm make documentaries about that. So when we got our monies, we ain't come and sow it back in America. Our Haitian generals went back to Haiti. But guess what we did? They couldn't build up infrastructures. They didn't do it properly, as well as the rampant Voudan. The rapid Voudan and the self-destruction that we have amongst Haitian. So you come with some money from America, they like, yo, we gonna go get your money, we gonna kidnap your people. Instead of working together to build infiltration, I mean, like to build structures, we started infiltrating each other. So you got people burying gold in backyards because we had no fucking banks. It's gold, it's all types of stuff in Haiti and they know it and they want it. Does that make sense? They don't control the minerals. They want to. They want to get the minerals. Like, they, this is what they go for. Yeah, they want to get all the minerals. You see what I'm saying? Yep. They not. They not. This, this, that's, that's the whole kind of, That's the whole movement. That's the whole movement of the rich elite, of the real rich elite. I'm not even going. They say the one percent. I'm talking about the one percent above. The zero point one. Exactly. The zero 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 zero. <laughs> We talking about the builder birds. We talking about the people who sit at the round tables. Killing them at the same time. Exactly. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, once your re- once the resources is going out there, they're gonna leave and leave you with shit. They're gonna leave you with nothing. They're not gonna try to listen. They, they, they don't need to. They're gonna leave you out on the state of devastation and it's either gonna be fight or flight. Let let's keep this real though. America has really not too much natural minerals. So most of our shipment comes from other countries. So once they tap in, they need to be there because like Africa is an ever growing continent of minerals. They would never leave Africa. That's why they want it. But Haiti as well. We have minerals there. Uh, It's some type of metal that's found in Haiti that is really, really on some kind of shit. And I'm gonna go do some more research before I start talking about it, because I came across it and I was like, mm, let's not, because that's it. That's probably why they want to get into Haiti, not just the gold, as you say, because what they're doing is exchanging the paper money for real resources like land and gold and minerals, and you called it. So the people thinking that this paper money is something and it ain't worth shit, because they keep on flooding it flooding the actual market with more paper money which is causing inflation that's a whole nother thing in order to get that from people's minds so when i talk about that when i bring that up i say it was i said what happens if an epidemic an apocalypse something happens i said bigger than covid i said covid is a taste mm. i'm talking about like like shit you see in the movies and i bring that up i said you think that dollar that you got in your hand matters? Pay shit. Be like, nah. I said, what matter? Weapons. Resources. Resources. How to That's be able to how to grow your own food. Know how to do it. You got agriculture. Who, who does what? How do you? I said, but the government has a fucking list. If this world never comes to an end, who is it going to take with them? Architects. All of this. They have lists. Exactly. 
you know what? It's funny you say that because I'm gonna get on my uh, you know, my 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 mind on the outside. I was watching this about missing people, and they like I always watch these missing people cases, Mrs. Four One Ones, and they said it's been basically like a pattern of white, um, like German men, athletic, that has been just missing. Like in a prime, I'm talking about 23 in college, very athletic, top at top of their tier. They'll just get missing from a bar. Like it's a few of them, and they like is the pattern is white, like German, Anglo Saxon men. And in the back of my head, I said, yo, they probably trying to create some super soldiers or some shit. And it's just crazy you say that because they look at us as disposable unless they can use you for something. Wow. Yo. We're going to get a little bit more on this, this, um...